Just got my alcohol stove. Before I go, 3,000. Uh, it's got an oven and a pressurized tank, which I'm gonna get rid of the pressurized tank, but pretty stoked. Got it at Mike's Marine Consignment for uh, $200. So, bargain I couldn't pass up. Super stoked. Uh, I'm not gonna put it in until later on in the summer, but um, I saw it online and knew I had to get it before it was gone. So I gotta go back in and get the rest of my goodies. <coughs> So here's my new oven. Got it on the boat. This is where it's gonna live eventually. Um, a closer look, it's like a Frankenstein oven, which is good for me. Uh, this is a nice, really new Orgo 3000 two burner top. Push the button, similar to the one I have. Got the canisters up here. And it's been mounted to some other alcohol oven, um, which is simple. Just takes a canister. I'm gonna have to do some stuff on the inside to get it up to where it needs to be. Um, but it's perfect. It has the gimbaled hooks on the sides and the hardware for it. Uh, and it's gonna sit here. I'm gonna have to build everything out. I'm in the middle of projects, so there's plastic everywhere. I can't show you what I'm gonna do right now, but the uh, yeah, she's gonna live here, be gimbaled, and um, I'm set, really, really stoked. Now I'll shorten this to like a little double settee and then I'll be able to bookshelf in. Very excited. This is, this is, this is, the, uh, this is what I wanted was an alcohol oven and stove. And um, I got it for an incredible price. And um, one more big thing, checked out the list um, as far as like equipment I need for the boat. I'm at the boat today. I'm making templates for my big galley redesign project. Um, yesterday I bought all the lumber to make my new nav switch panels, which is the third switch panel I've made. Like each time I keep either not being happy or messing it up, so hopefully this is the last one. But I also went ahead while I was at the uh, lumber yard and bought all the um, ply and formica for my complete galley build out. I have to build bulkheads uh, for the gimbaled stove that I'm installing. Um, I bought the stove quite a while ago and she's just been strapped in going on adventures with us not being used. Um, but it's time to get her installed and uh, it'll be nice to have a gimbaled oven and stove while we're underway and make things a lot easier. So it's going to go over the starboard settee part of it. <clears throat> it's going to shorten the settee to like a kind of two-seater little settee. There's other things going to happen on that side of the boat later on um, as well, but right now we're going to focus on getting this galley build out done. So I'm going to build out the um, sort of entire stove oven enclosure off-site uh, at, um, at home at the studio and um, get it laminated and uh, metal flashing and everything, get it completely done, bring it to the boat, and uh, install it. I'll even take the oven home and you know get it all fitted out perfect so that we know it's set. Um, I did have the uh, wherewithal to measure the companion way to make sure I could get the enclosure in. So um, that seems like a go. So what I did was brought, I brought cardboard and I cut it. There's like a strange angle with the settee back. Um, so I need to go ahead and, and get that to be exact. There's some weird bumps and stuff with like where the, the settee uh, seat like support whatever is glassed into the uh, the rest of the bulkheads. So all that had to be taken into account. Um, and then I scrawled a hundred notes on my template. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I went about that. And um, then the next steps to take that home and cut the lumber come make sure it, it sits in here nicely and uh, then get to laminating it and putting it all together and then eventually installing it in place so let's check out this template so here's my cardboard template it's just propped up at the moment um, but we got our angle for our settee like I said I just taped an extra piece to find the angle and uh, took down all my notes my measurements right on the template and as you'll see, it's going to have like curved corners that will have teak. 
everything will have teak trim on it and those curved corners will be determined by whatever prefabbed teak cap I can get. The lumber I got for the bulkheads for the, the enclosure are three quarter inch. Um, and I determined that size not only for its strength, but also because I knew that I could get teak uh, rails that, that fit that size. So, um, so yeah, so this is the template fits on both the uh there'll be one forward and then one aft and um as i said it'll be a completely contained enclosure that i'll just bring set into place and then mount down into the boat so that part's all done now it's just you know i'll cut the lumber and uh, I'll, I'll cut the like bulkheads and bring it down to the boat and uh, set them in place and make sure that they fit nice and that my measurements are right um i've measured like 20 times so hopefully they'll be right um, and then here's our stove that we're going to be installing. Little Frankenstein stove I bought a while ago. But um, all alcohol, uh, which I'm a fan of. And uh, it's a slower cooking medium, but um, it's not explosive. And uh, that's what I'm concerned about. So now it's time to um, finish up the rest of my air. Um, now it's time to finish up the rest of my chores on the boat and uh, head out. So we're here at Camille's studio. Uh, I'm gonna get the like sides or bulkheads cut out for the stove enclosure. Um, this is the template made at the boat. Took all the measurements and everything. Still have to. We're gonna cut the bottom and and the back later. But today. Uh, Today we're just gonna cut these. So this is the settee back, has this angle. This is the top. I have this, um, I have this rad teak handle. It's got the uh, this channel pre-cut out of it. That's gonna go like there, so that when you're standing at the oven and stove, you can hold on. And then I have teak rail that's gonna, that's gonna frame everything out. Um, so we'll be putting all that on and cutting this shape out after we get this cut. Uh, basically, it's like tonight I'm going to cut this, take them down to the boat, make sure they um, sit correctly and, and they're going to work. And then I can go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of the pieces of the enclosure. And then on to laminating the sides. I haven't decided if I'm going to put steel stainless steel on the inside or just laminate um, but the first step to get these cut out get the uh, enclosure made and uh, then we'll go from there I'm gonna make a little cardboard template of this handle so I can draw the what I need to cut with the jigsaw onto the wood. I think it'll be easier to make a template to move it around than to mess with the uh, handle itself on the wood. So that's our, you know, from our 90 degree turn we wanna make that's gonna go here. And instead of trying to like line it up like that which would probably work i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out it'll be easier i think we can go ahead and test my theory by putting this in here see how that matches up real nice now we got to do is lay this down right about there Trace it on. 
And then we're gonna come back with our jigsaw and cut this part off. Now we're just taking it down a little bits at a time. It's a little proud right here, but we almost got it. So we're just gonna take a little bit off right here and then see how it goes. Let's see, it's almost lined up there. So that... It's perfect over here. Still seems what is that? this part, or is it this? Mm. You see how that's kicking it out right there? Do you want to um, wait for that? Too. out there though. I think it's sitting flat. Let's see. Like this. Oh yeah, so there you go. So here it is. Pretty stuck. That's our handle. Our gimbaled oven will sit here. We got our other two. It goes there. And then the same will be here. Looks good. Pretty stoked. So now. I got these little notches cut because the glass on the bottom of the settee that kicks up as we saw when we made the template. Um, on my template, I have, a, I have it notched here for like the teak rail that's on the back of the, the top of the port settee or the starboard settee. But um, I might cut that teak out and have the back go all the way up. I haven't decided yet. So I'm gonna just take this to the boat and then decide what makes the most sense. Um, and then I have another just regular non-handle, just a round corner. I'm waiting to come in the mail for the other side, so we're not going to make that cut today. But we'll, we'll be able to take these to the boat um, this weekend and um, see how they fit and then move forward on this enclosure. Great progress. Got all our pieces cut out. Uh, this is the back piece. This is the bottom. And then our two sides. Now I can take all this to the boat and just loosely screw it together with like drywall screws and see how it sits, see what I need to do, any adjustments I need to make. 
and then bring everything back to do the final uh, build out here, laminate everything, and um, get the uh, mounts for the stove and everything put in. So this is what the basic enclosure is going to look like. And uh, as I said, this is going to have a rounded off, just a half circle cut with teak trim. The galley will be here. This is raised up a little bit higher than, than the galley and the settee to protect it from the, um, the oven and the, the range top. And then our gimbaled stove will be here. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to laminate it or uh, put stainless steel inside. I'm gonna do some more research and see what's suggested. Um, but very excited to have the uh, galley build out moving forward. Um, a lot of projects happening, but uh, this is gonna be a nice one to get knocked out. All right, time to button it up.